the 1998 season of Run It Back had many rollovers and a dominant champion with over 12 races won. So, let's see, how did the season turn out? Here are the 10 highlights of Run It Back 1998. In the first Martinsville race, Terry Labonte had bad luck by flipping over not once, but twice in the same race and in a 20 lap span. It was very unfortunate for that 5 Kellogg's team. In the fun race in Atlanta, Jeff Badonica hit by Robbie Gordon, who then would spin out and then Jeff Badonica would go up and over before being hit again by Ernie Irvin and sent him to the apron of the racetrack. In the second Charlotte race, Terry Labonte got turned by Jeremy Mayfield, sending Labonte in front of the field, collecting many others, causing a huge truck in the front straightaway. This DNF'd half the field in the race. Bristol, like always, was chaos, having a few rollovers being Rutt Strickland and Robert Presley, and having a few other crashes taking out many drivers. This crash that you're seeing, Ken Schrader got turned by Darrell Waltrip, collecting Dale Jarrett, who was leading at the time. Ken Schrader would then flip over, and then Tim Steele would take the lead, but under the caution, Tim Steele's motor would blow. Bad luck for the 48, and then a one lap dash had Kenny Wallace lead, but on the restart, Dale Earnhardt would swiftly take the lead away and not give it back up and win the Food City 500. Morgan Shepard have a wild ride at Richmond, Earnhardt turn him into the wall, and then the 30 car would go up and over and land on all fours. In an upset for the second year in a row, Kenny Wallace would win the Daytona 500 in 1998. In the later half of the season, Robert Presley and Jeff Gordon got into a little bit of a rivalry, starting in the ninth race at Bristol. Robert Presley was leading, Jeff Gordon got into him, trying to bump out of the way, but did not. Gordon almost wrecked the Then about 20 laps later, Gordon got to Robert Presley, Presley saved it against the wall, Presley and Gordon got together and slid, Irvin got into them both, and they would both wreck. The 24 and the 33 would get mediocre finishes and finish with damaged race cars. At North Wilkesboro, Jeff Gordon would absolutely dump the 48, and Mark Martin was involved, who was running sec at the time in points. Gordon obviously dumped the 48, but no penalty was issued. <laughs> then at Richmond, for the second Richmond race, Robert Presley would use Dale Earnhardt as a pick against Jeff Gordon and take the lead away against Jeff Gordon in an attempt to get a win either way against Gordon. But then, later in the race, he had to come in for a pit stop along with others for green flag pit stops, leaving Mark Martin to take the win at Richmond. The second Rockingham race had Ernie Irvin get spun by Bill Elliott and then get hit by a few others, and then getting hit hard enough to go up and over in turn three. Ernie Irvin was shaken up, but he was okay after this crash. Here are the big silly season stories for 1998 going to 1999. In 1998, Jeff Gordon had a phenomenal year, winning 12 races in the season and having the most top fives out of any driver this season. Dominating fashion like always, and this was his third championship for the 24 DuPont team. The team has high expectations and high hopes for 1999.
1998 was a good season, and we hope 1999 will be a better one. Thanks for watching Run It Back 1998, and I will see you guys next time.